Hey, Hanley. Hey, what are we doing? Lion's head meatballs. Crazy. Hi, I'm Clarissa, and this is Hanley. This series is all about teaching Hanley how to cook. Last time he made a solid tomato and egg dish. Today we're making a Shanghainese meatball that requires a bit of deep frying and a lot of dicing. They're called lion's head meatballs because they kind of look like a Chinese lion, and they require a lot of skill to make. <laughs> What the f I'm not excited because I heard this one's gonna be f complicated. I got him to buy ground pork, ginger, scallions, Napa cabbage, eggs, sugar, breadcrumbs, Shaoxing wine, soy sauce, oyster sauce, cornstarch, and vegetable oil. Okay, we need to peel the water chestnuts first because oh, you got freaking fresh water chestnuts. This whole bag is already in the water, but now I'm like actually cutting the net, so it's like. So it embraces its natural habitat. So the reason why we soaked it is so it's easier to peel. Fuck. <laughs> This one's gonna be hard. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. Okay, now you're gonna dice it super finely. Yeah. So don't be so precious with the skinning, man. Just chop off four sides and then. You think I'm trying to be precious with my skinning, Mario? You think I'm trying to be careful not to hurt the. Chestnut. <laughs> I think so, man. I'm a grown ass man now. <laughs> you only cut one and a half chestnuts, and you're a grown ass man. How many people can say they they have cut chestnuts before? Mario, have you? Have you ever cut chestnuts before? <laughs> exactly, bro. You ain't even a man yet. God damn, you're a baby boy. Man, people just gotta stop hating on me. You got a lot of haters in the comments. Man, they hate on me not knowing how to like cook. There's nothing wrong with not knowing how to cook. That's what I'm learning, my. Y'all know how to speak Cantonese, bro? Yeah, I don't see y'all learn that. And Mandarin, you're trilingual. That's true. Technically, I speak a little French too. Come on to the Belgium, my Pella Henley. Hey, merci beaucoup. <laughs> so dumb. Woo. Now cut a little bit of slice of the ginger. You know how like there you have a big ass meal and then everything tastes amazing, and then you bite this tiny ass <laughs> piece of ginger and it kills the whole game. Even make it tinier. <laughs> yeah, baby, little ginger. Okay, take one scallion. You know you can fold it. Just fold it. It'll be faster. See, why Chinese are why Chinese are good at math. This is literally why. Please, by the by this time y'all watching this video. Why Chinese are good at math is already online, so check that out. Product placement. All right. There's so much more you can do. <laughs> We want to put 450 grams of pork in the thing. So one packet is about like 150 kilo, 0.0.150 point, point uh, kilo kilogram. <laughs> My math. Why Chinese are good at math? math. My math, yeah, it's basically once 107, uh, 150 gram for each packet. So maybe like four packets. Okay, put it. You only need three, dude. If they're 150. <laughs> I only need three, eh? All right. I mean, can I do four? Because they're 150 grams each, right? Well, they're technically over 150. They're like 170, but. Yeah, uh, hell no. Only three. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, crack an egg inside. Yo, I learned this one new trick, Clarissa. You'll be so proud. Peep, just peep. You ready? Peep. Oh. What's up? That was hard. I didn't even look at the egg, man. Any shells? Ah,、uh, nope. Damn. No shells. Double check for the skill, bro. Mario, no shells. No, no shells, shells man. man. What the hell? Okay, um, we're gonna put in a teaspoon of sugar. Get a get a little uh, like a little spoon. One hand crack egg is crazy. Y'all y'all sure y'all don't want me to do it again? No, you only need one egg. Okay, one spoonful of that. Okay, we're gonna do five spoons of the breadcrumbs. <laughs> One, maybe just four, two, three. <laughs> Handley, you can just do it without me counting. <laughs> <I am my best. laughs> um, we're gonna do 
three big spoons of the wine, the Shaoxing wine. Yo, that's too much though, I feel like. Okay, that's good. Okay, now two tablespoons soy sauce. Yeah. Okay, two, ta two tablespoons oyster sauce. Something funny about this oyster sauce, man. It's lo okay. It looks a little too... Now add a bit of pepper. Pepperoni! How does this work? Mom that coke man always make gadgets way too complicated. Got him. Okay, now uh, half a spoon of cornstarch. Half a spoon of... <laughs> the pepper. This is the struggle when you see people with the cornstarch. How does normal cooking show make sure that the table is clean as How? Look at this Look at this It's impossible. How's the texture? If it's too dry, we're gonna add a bit of water. Um, it looks, it looks pretty wet. You want me to crack another egg? No. <laughs> the egg yolk is stuck to one of them. I think they have some type of connection. Make sure it's all even. Yeah. Okay, so first slice two, actually four pieces of ginger and put that in the bowl. You love ginger, eh? And then uh, take two scallions and cut them like into two inch slices. Two inch slices, all right, all right. I know how long is one inch. One inch is about that, two inch is this. Yeah, sure. All right. Gotcha. Okay, now in the cup, we're gonna put in half a spoon of sugar, two spoons of wine, two spoons of oyster sauce. Two sp oh, I just dropped oyster okay. to the chestnuts. <laughs> a dash of sesame oil. Okay, that's good. And then fill that cup halfway with water. Doesn't matter if it's cooking water or shit, right? It doesn't matter, you're gonna cook it. Actually, you might as well just fill that pot up like with oil. Huh? Mario, don't look shocked. This is <laughs> oil. <laughs> All right, I mean it's four. It should be okay. able to cover one. Just, uh, leave it on the stove for now. Don't turn it on. Shape the meatballs. Make Shape. them into meatballs. Shape. Make them look like meatballs. I see. I see. I see. All right. Do I touch them? Yeah, touch it. Use your hands and shape a meatball. It's really wet though. That's fine. All right. Add a little bit more breadcrumbs then if it's too wet. So I should be doing something like this. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Hanley, don't just drop it like that. Okay, put it gently on the plate. Gently. There you go. That's <laughs> Hanley. <laughs> what the f Hurry up, man. This is when we can be creative. Pete, this is the meatball for me, right? So I poke a little hole in the middle, and for this meatball stuffing, I put Mario's meatball in it. Hanley! <laughs> okay, wash your hands, and while we're waiting for the oil, let's peel like four pieces of the Napa cabbage and wash it. You can add the meatballs in. Each meatball should only fry for about two minutes, and then you take it out. Two minutes, all right. I'm gonna check my phone. Two minutes. Finna do it for the gram. What? All right, man. Oh, it looks so good. Damn, son. Damn. What the? F <laughs> Let's go. Too easy, man. Didn't even need to try. Okay, now what you're gonna do is take some of that oil, just like three spoonfuls and put it in the pan and heat up the pan. Oh, heat up the pan, eh? And when it's hot, you're gonna add in the ginger and the scallions. Man, I'm fanboying off these meatballs, man, cause they look crazy, bruh. Okay, uh, then add the sauce in, but don't add all of it. Maybe add like 70% of it. 
70% of it. Okay. Wait, add the uh, cabbage in now. Okay, and then add the meatballs on top. Do I put it on top of the cabbage? Yeah. Is it getting liquid, the meatballs? No, nah, they're solid. Okay, and then pour the rest of the sauce over. Do it for the grand, man. Come on, man. Impressing my ass. Wow, boomeranger. Boomeranger. All right, plating. Careful, the meatballs are likely to, yeah. Oh, the Napa cabbage looks great. The cabbage look like cabbage for show. I don't know about great, but look like cabbages for show. Yeah, look at that. The way I'm plating it is you already know. Boy, have some like you know aesthetic in mind. It's pretty good, Hanley. I'm really proud of you. Thank you. Is it cooked thoroughly? Yep. I just realized I may have had lion head when I was a kid because it tastes like that. You know what I'm trying to say? Childhood memory accomplished, bruh. I'm gonna take a bite. It's juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Henley, are you proud? I am proud. Yo, I feel like you needed to have more chestnut though. Would you do this again at home? Uh, nope. <laughs> Too much work. And we need like almost a full bottle of olive oil, veggie oil. 